I'm going to make a hat out of you! What a waste of prime sacrificial meat! Shall I tell you something about the nature of man? Go on. If you abandon two people on an island, both of them try to come up with the reasons to kill the other one. And I thought you were going to tell me something uplifting. All right. Flesh. Let's have a closer look at you. Looks like you haven't eaten in a while. Oh, very observant, oh sighted one. Thanks. Are you looking for answers? Perhaps I've got some for you. Death brings wisdom to one that is often lacking in life. Not particularly motivating. How long have you been dead? I've seen centuries come and go. Time has lost its meaning to me. You're fucking joking. Charming. Don't you know that death is eternal? When the shadows envelop you, you see the world with different eyes. What kind of place is this? It is the beginning of a new age. The hour of birth of the shadow ascending from the mist. But it still needs time. So, this island is special? Yes. One's death has meaning here. Elsewhere, the corpses just rot slowly. Tell me more about yourself. Balthazar the Mage. That was how people once addressed me. I'm the Lord of this island. But who am I dealing with? Neither. My spirit's been taken. Is that so? And yet apparently you can talk, taste, feel and see. Remarkable. You look like you want to unearth the secrets of this island. Go ahead. You have my blessing. Where should I start my search? You'll find something whichever direction you take. But you're not the first to settle here. So you'd better hurry if you want to dig up your treasure. Why do I get the feeling you're hiding something from me? I serve as a guide for the Seekers. And you are seeking something. However, my secret will remain hidden from you. 
Only the one who has found the vestiges of time will reveal it. What did you mean when you said vestiges of time? Listen carefully. To the south was dispatched by deadly clutches snatched. Filled with signs washed up on eastern shorelines. High up in the southeast, where the rats on his bones feast. And that's supposed to help me? We'll put some effort into it. We'll share their fate. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! <laughs> Spiders! I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! That beast is never going to get up again! smell the underworld.
I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! Sometimes I get this itch. That's always a sign that we'd better be careful. And sometimes it just stops when I take off my trousers. And sometimes I wish you'd never dug me up. Ugh! 
Well, that's that. Split a few throats. Yeah. A few throats. <clears throat> Run as fast as you can. <sighs> Hey, I was here first. She's mine. Kindly find yourself a woman somewhere else. And I'll buzz off to Carlos and make yourself useful. And you can take Diaz with you. That's a nice welcome. You really think you can knock it out of me? But not this time. First come, first served. Cersei is gonna be my wife. Looks like he's desperate. Let's have an arm wrestling match. You? Want to take me on? Well, let's see what you're capable of. You have no chance.
How in hell did you manage that? Nobody has ever beaten me. There's always a first time. Huh. <laughs> well, I won't be called a bad loser. But I won't wrestle with you again, either. You haven't seen a woman in a long while, have you? Of course I haven't. They don't fall out of the sky. And when you do have one, you have to offer her something. Such as? Take a look at my muscles. When I start rippling these, she will just melt. You can touch them if you like. No, you're all right. You don't take your duties seriously, do you? What are you babbling on about? Have you now seized command here, or what? I'm doing my duty. So save your advice for someone else. Well, who do we have here? You must have traveled a long way. You look tired. Come and spend some time with me. Hmm, why not? A little break can't hurt. So true. Even the greatest heroes draw their strength from rest. Not to mention the warmth I'd be happy to share with you. Forgive me for saying so, but I feel so incredibly safe around you. You must be quite the ladies' man. Cut the fucking crap, sweetheart. Why such anger? Have I offended you? I've held out on this island for so long, longing for someone I could cling to. You look like someone who could take care of even the biggest of problems. Maybe one day you'll have time to render me a service as well. How did you get to this island? You certainly deserve an answer. So I'm unable to answer it. But there is a grey veil surrounding my memories. It feels like I've been trapped here for an eternity. What can I do for you? Oh, it's always the same, you know. Just as soon as you find an admirer on this island, they only want one thing. And I've got two such admirers. They're a plague. And what do you want me to do about it? Oh, well, if you're man enough, then... Then again, no. It would be wrong to trouble you with this. Oh, come on. Out with it. Well, I'd be over the moon if they were to go away. Forever. Fuck the Titans. Isn't that going a mite too far? Oh, I don't think so. Only their death will ensure my freedom. Just imagine what will happen when the other soldiers find out about me. Men who have been alone at sea for weeks can be cruel. We're supposed to play hired assassins for the bride? That stinks! And what sort of reward can I expect for this heroic deed? I can offer you what the soldiers can't have. A night you'll never forget. My body will be yours.
Hey, leave some for me! Ooh. Ah! Leave some for me! Intricate lock.
I told you before, take your hands off her. I have no intention of doing so. Get it into your thick head, she doesn't want you. Ah, and what makes you so sure? Well, who'd want a pushover like you? You think she'll be impressed by your muscles? Ridiculous! Just shut your gob. Why did Carlos have to assign you of all people to me? Because one of us has to do all the thinking, and it can't be you. Sod off, then. Serce wants me to kill you. If you think I'm buying that, forget it. She told me she'll marry me. Why would she want to kill me? Watch your mouth. What do you want? Gotta focus on my training. Why are you training? There are only two reasons. One is to get the other hand in a fight, and the other is women. They love this shit. But why am I even telling you this? So get lost. What's your mission? Can't you find another ear to chew off? Oh, all right. I'll tell you just this once, okay? So listen. Listen carefully. Hector and I are supposed to secure the food supplies. But that can wait, because what we, what I found here, is more important. Carlos can wait. My new wife can't. What do you have to offer? Here, have a look for yourself. What do you have to offer? Here, have a look for yourself. Hector doesn't seem to like you. That sounds like him. He's just jealous of my wife. But I'm not surprised you rejected him. With a face like that, he'll be looking for some time. Serce wants you dead. Me? Never! She wants to start a family with me. In which case, I'll quit the service and she and I will grow old together. You must have heard wrong. Hector says you promised to marry him. Typical charlatan. When you're done with him, I'll cut out his tongue. I'm tired of all these lies. Diaz says you want to start a family with him. <laughs> you fell for that. I hope I don't need to question your dedication. End it. I don't believe a fucking word you say. Your task was to kill them both, not to question my intentions. You humans are all the same, weak and stunted. Now you're paying the price for your unreasonable behavior.
That one, brutal. Good riddance. Watch out! Looks like we can forget about marriage. I feel so... emancipated? A divorce works wonders sometimes. Hey, stop joking about it. That beast wanted to kill me. I definitely wouldn't have survived without your help. Here, this is the least I can give you. Your family plans are history. What did you just say? <sighs> I can't imagine what would have happened if he hadn't helped me. Shortly before that, I was... with her. You know? It's all right. We've all woken up next to a dog. Yeah, thanks. Look, it's not much, but you should take it. What are you going to do now? Uh, I need to clear my head. This whole thing's done me in. It's not every day you get a ride like that. Anyway, Hector and I still have much to discuss. Good comrades forgive each other. Thank you. 